everybody, today I'm going to be taking you through the products inside the brand new Tilly beauty box. Tilly stands for try it, love it. This is the very first one that they've done. The products inside are amazing and they're going to be doing one every three months and you can see what you get. You don't have to subscribe, you can see what you get before you buy the box. So I thought that today I'd do a little bit of an unboxing video and go through each of the products and then there'll be more details about the box at the end. So, let's give it a shot, shall we? It's a really, really pretty box. I love these colours. And when I was growing up, I was obsessed with this sort of blue. I don't even know what this kind of blue is called. Um, contrasted with pink. And when I was old enough, as soon as I was old enough, to decorate my own bedroom, I think I must have been in my late teens, those were the colours I decorated it. I have to say that all the products inside here are very premium. Really, really great brands, some of them quite niche. Um, and a couple of products that I think you'll um, know that I'm going to rave about. So let's get started, shall we? Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. Bare Minerals is a brand that I'm growing really, really attached to. You might have seen a couple of videos recently when I've used makeup products of theirs, but I've also been trying a bit of skincare and getting on really well with it. This serum I've actually tried before and I find it really, really nice on my skin. I get a good sort of glow from it. So I find it quite hydrating. And because it's so lightweight, it's very fluid, it's very non-oily. It's the type of serum that you can use even if you've got quite oily skin. Pretty much good for any skin type, really. And that is the beauty of serums, that they just sort of slip into your skincare routine. Um, they're always very concentrated, or usually very concentrated, if you get a good one. And you're sort of getting all of your skincare benefits and ingredients in this espresso shot. Vita Liberata. I really rate their tanning products. They also do brilliant um, body finishing products that just give a gorgeous glow and a tint to the skin. But this is the phenomenal light as air two to three week tan. Wow. You see, this is my type of product because I don't want to have to do things very often. And I want something that is literally going to be foolproof, uh, which this looks like it is. Look, you get a mini, mini mitt with this. That's very sweet, isn't it? Lasts up to four times longer than regular tans. Bring it on. Shampoo and conditioner by Nexus. Big samples, as are all of them actually, um, that give you a really good chance to give the product a try. They're not just like one use sachets that you then have to throw away. I get on really well with this brand. It's pretty posh. This one has been formulated to help dry and damaged hair. Now, mine is a little bit damaged because I have it bleached. I try to really look after it and I don't really use very many heated appliances on it very often. It's normally a special occasion if I blow dry my hair and I try and get it cut so that it falls into a nice, you know, a nice kind of dishevelled style <laughs> without me having to style it too much. However, I do bleach it, and so it still does get very dry, especially on the ends. So products like this are really, really good for my hair. Dun, 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 dun. This, which is liquid gold from Alpha H, has to be one of my top skincare buys of all time. It's glycolic acid, and you just swipe it onto your skin, and then either leave it or follow it with a moisturiser. And it's just so, so, radiance boosting. It's an exfoliant basically, but without having to use a scrub, so it's non-abrasive. So it sounds scary because it sounds like acid, but it's not. It's not abrasive at all, and um, you really get a good glow from this. If you've got very dull skin, and you just don't know really how to perk it up, this is like my magic solution. If you've got very sensitive skin, just go carefully, test it out a little bit, and also make sure you wear an SPF in the daytime when you use this in the night. But yeah, can't rave about this enough. There are reviews left, right and centre on my website about this one, and you get 50 mil again, which will last ages. You only need a little bit on a cotton wool pad, swipe it over, and honestly, very little goes a very long way. You'll get a good, good long time out of this. They probably should have made it smaller and then you'd want to buy the big one, but you know, let's not complain about that. Oh, you have to forgive me, a bit of a heat wave going on and I wish I'd tied my hair back, but it's too late now. 
Elemis Smart Cleanse Micellar Water. I am a big fan of micellar waters for a very quick cleanse. Taking makeup off before I'm doing my um, proper evening cleanse. Or just if I'm filming a lot and I have to sort of remove makeup in between shots or retouch my makeup or something like that, then they're just perfect. This one is very, very effective at taking off makeup and leaves the skin feeling quite clarified, but it's not stripping, it's not tightening, you don't get that horrible dry feeling afterwards. It just balances the skin perfectly. Uh, really easy to use, just soak the cotton wool pad and swipe it over, couldn't really be simpler. Essie Nail Polish in Ballet Slippers. Can you see that there? Really beautiful, pale, pale pink. A beauty blogger's favourite, this one. And I can see why. It makes your nails look really sort of clean and polished and lovely. Um, so that is, I think that's a full size. That must be a full size, mustn't it? I think that is. <gasps> this is absolutely amazing. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is just like... I know this phrase has been really overused, but airbrushing for the skin, like real-time airbrushing. I don't know whether you can see, because I mean, I've obviously put foundation over the top. You could almost use this on its own, but it's too glowy, I think, to use on its own. It's like you need the foundation on top to calm it down because it's so, so glowy. But what it does is almost create this filter or blur so that any minor imperfections I just skimmed over. Very, very clever. And can't really rave about this one enough. I think if you find it difficult to get your base to look good and your skin to look alive, this is just a brilliant cheat. Pop this on underneath. So that's what's in the box. Total value, I think, is over £60, just over £60. And the box costs 20 so a nice lot of stuff in there to get your teeth into. If you feel like you're in a bit of a beauty rut and you're desperate to try some new stuff, then it's a really nicely curated um, box full of, I mean, there are some real gems in there. And the whole idea behind the Tilly Try It, Love It um, box is that, well, firstly, like I said, there's no subscription, but they're trying to build a community of people who love beauty and want to talk about beauty. And they have an Instagram page where they will be sharing their hints and tips. So I'm gonna to link to that below, but you can get the box at QVC. But loads more details in the description box. Hope that you enjoyed that. I'm kind of practicing my unboxing because I know loads of you wanted to see what I bought in Chanel many, many months ago. And how ridiculous is this? It is still in the box because I'm too nervous to get it out um, because I don't want to, anything bad to happen to it, which is madness. So it's like summer's going to be over and it is a summer bag before I've taken it out. And also I don't want to take it out because I want to do my unboxing. So this is going to get me spurred on to actually unbox my bag, hopefully. Anyway, enough about my bag. There is a new box in October. And again, you'll be able to see what's in the box before you buy it. Um, that will be available at QVC. I should give you a heads up before that comes out. And um, I'll see you in the next video.